This just in, a hacker infestation has broken out on Aberration. Hacker, 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 aim bot, aim bot, aim bot. Wait, I'm receiving a call. Hi there, sir. Are you one of these hackers running around? No. I'm the guy that's gonna stop them. I'm the guy that's grown sick and tired of these hackers running free. That's splendid news. Literally. What can we call you? Name's not important. When it's done, you'll know. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Looks like Aberration may not be doomed after all. We have a hero in our midst. You hearing this, boss? A hero? What a bunch of baloney. We need to prepare. Boss, you're not serious. Look, this guy has quite the track record. He's fought wars and won. Not with a tribe, but as a solo against tribes. I'd rather not underestimate him. Gather the goons, and make sure he has the worst wipe possible. It was my first time trying out the Arcpocalypse servers as a solo. Word on the street? Stay off the trails. Hackers are lurking. Did I listen? Come on, you guys know me better than that. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the most persistent solo. Please make sure to leave a like and sub as it really helps me out a lot. And last but not least, enjoy the video. Now today, I'm really excited because I'm going to be playing... I'm going to be doing something I haven't ever done before, which is going solo on the official Arcpocalypse servers. And as far as my hopes and goals for this wipe, I don't I don't necessarily have anything in mind apart from just to survive as this is my first time playing the God damn. Yeah, it is my first time playing these servers. Your weight goes up like I've played infinite weight servers, I've played MTS where they have like things like stone and that are reduced, but here on official it's gonna Damn, this is gonna be like the, the hardcore experience. We have a brother over there. Oh, damn. Okay, the sickness and all that bad stuff. No, 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 no. Why? Why are they like this? Okay, I think movement speed is definitely something we're gonna wanna level up. We wanna run away from those guys. But yeah, my goal really for this wipe is just to survive. As a solo player, I have a base location in my- Oh my goodness, the- Damn, these servers are wild. I do have a base location in mine, and the one thing I'm really excited about that is- I've never built there before, and also official building is way different to unofficial, so I'm curious to see what I can come up with when it comes to that. First things first, as per tradition, we always gotta get the note run taken care of. Hey dude! Hello dude! Hey so- What do you want? Uh, uh, team? Team? No, sorry. Team? <laughs> what is going <laughs> Oh my god, this service! Oh man, I can- I can- no, no, no. I can already tell this is gonna be so much fun. Holy- Oh, let me drop the stone. What am I doing? I just want to gather some stone berries. So if I do run into anyone, I can easily regen my stamina. And it's raining as well, so I won't get thirsty. Which is just a plus. Man's was asking for the team. The other dude just wasn't having it. Oh no, I, I hear a raptor, man. But for some reason, I can't find this. Oh, that ain't no raptor. Okay, it's an Ovi. Let's just keep going, let's just keep going, let's just keep going. <laughs> oh my god, I don't think I can put that in the- Oh my- 
And I have the sickness, just great. Jesus, what is... Oh my goodness, these servers are wild, bro. The guy with the rock music is chasing me. Why me? What did I do to deserve this? Quite frankly, I'm not too sure. I mean, the Sims audience have been asking me for PlayStation servers and their wish was quite literally my command, as we now have our first PlayStation wipe on February the 18th with a grand cluster alpha prize of $2,000. Not only that, but I will be recording an entire series on the PlayStation servers. For those of you who don't know, this entire channel started on PlayStation and I am excited to make my grand return. So if you want to go head to head with me or fight for the grand prize of $2,000, then make sure to click on the link in the description below and upon joining the Discord, check that bell icon so you don't miss out. As for my Notron, well, despite the let's say interesting encounters, I was able to pull it off. But before I could claim my base location, I needed to gather the resources and tames in order to build it. So Lost Island is where I headed next. What is this? Someone just has a bunch of storage boxes just sit up here. Bunch of storage- oh, okay, I was about to say a bunch of storage boxes with a bunch of nothing, but nah, there's some stuff here. I can't carry too much. Ooh, beaver dams. This is actually so huge. I need paste. I'm just gonna grab it. Oh, of course. Of course. Yep. But uh, there's another one over there. Oh man, I'm so slow. I'm just I'm just gonna grab it. I I need paste. That, that's gonna that's gonna be one of those resources. In order for the spot I want to live, a cliff plat is going to be needed. And paste just happens to be one of those resources you need a lot of in order to make a cliff plat. Okay, do I get paste? No. No paste. Okay, so this is roughly where I want to set up my base, but I think I really spot another starter base. Oh, that... <laughs> Ain't a starter base no more, but yeah, as you can see, so much metal just in this area. And I think I'm, instead of making like a stone base, because I don't plan to love you for too long, I think a wood one is going to be cheaper, just all around. Let me actually just spin my stone on a mortar and pistol to reduce my weight though. But yeah, probably just gonna get a, a wooden base down. Nothing nothing crazy, maybe like a 1x2. Damn, I think I might just get my whole wooden base off this one tree. I just need a wall, a door, and two ceilings. Perfect. But I think, so because this is official, I think the building, I have to place the refine. I think there's like a trick where you, you have to place the refining forges first or something. So that you can, I don't know. So, yeah, I think it's just easy to place your forges first before you place anything. I don't know why, but I feel like I remember that from somewhere. Maybe you can let me know down in the comments. I'm just talking a bunch of gibberish or if it's actually true. I do need to get a bit more hide though, if I want to make a refining forge. And I would like to make a few of them as well. Oh damn. My mans do not have it easy. What level are you? Are you low level? Ah, oh, well 25, I think this thing gives so much hide, these Fiomias. If I can kill it, would be really nice. Should be able to. I'd say they give hide, but okay, there we go, come on. Give me more raw meat than anything. Sweet. We have a sealed base for the night, which is always nice. But we can start making some narcotics and some spark powder. Let's go. With first nightfall, I had my first base up and forges smelting. When the next sun rose, I'd have the resources and gear to tame the dinos I needed to claim my base location. Oh damn, yeah, this is the play on a mewing. Oh, he's hitting the direction of our base. I hope he doesn't find it. That could be pretty bad. Okay, let's just get this knocked out. The nice thing about these turns, they don't take too much to knock out. Did not think I would get that on my first try, but eh. First time for everything. Oh, I can't. I need to pick up the wooden pillars. I guess I have to have like perfectly in the middle, because this is like official building. 
Now it definitely can jump through that, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna. This is gonna be a bit weird. It's gonna look a bit weird, but it's gonna work. That's the main part. As long as it works, it's fine. Uh, maybe something like this. <laughs> oh man, hey yo, <laughs> don't judge. Uh. I don't know, yo. I'm just gonna try and knock it out. Hopefully this will be enough. Nah, there's no way. I need I probably need a triangle ceiling. I'm just gonna I'd rather be safe than sorry. It is a fairly decent level maiming as well. To be fair. Let me make two triangle ceilings here real quick. Oh yeah, see now that we have now that we have this. Isn't this much better? There we go. Alright, let's test it. Does our scuff trap work? It does perfectly. I was still getting the hang of official building. Hey, the Maywing tamed. And its name? I'm gonna call this one Hope. Yeah, I'm gonna call it Hope. Ooh, that is so nice to see also the weight is so good on those things. Perfect, it's following us. Let's go. Hope's purpose was to help me claim my base location on Aberration, but before we could head over there, I needed a cryopod that would allow me to take it over there. Yeah, I think it's... I think it's these ones over here. Nope, that's a basilisk. That's the sound of a basilisk. Yep, I'm out. Oh, damn. Yeah, but it's those lava, it's those weird looking rocks. Okay, I think there should be some yeah up here. Believe it or not, these actually give you oil. Okay, I'm a scam. Uh there we go. Yeah that sound? That's the sound of oil. Trust me. There we go. Gonna get a good bait. I'll just drop that. What do I need for how much do I need for fabricator? Okay, so yeah, this should be enough to make the cryopods I need. Now I just need the polymer. Oh, damn. I <laughs> How did I kill? <laughs> I swear I wasn't even aiming at this one. Wait, I have a club. I swear. <laughs> oh, my. Look, the arrow even went into that one. <laughs> Gosh darn it. It's fine. We got the polymer. And if we're quick enough, we can actually get out with all of this. We can actually transfer out. If we can find a drop. Oh wait, no, I have to stay. I need the Sonoma. But do I need it? I don't actually need it. Nah, I don't. Not right now, at least. And I don't want to wait a whole 15 minutes. So yeah, I think I might just leave with this Maywing. But I'll craft a couple of cryopods just so I have them. This does look like a sort of safe drop to transfer out. Polymer oil. Little fiber. Hide. What am I missing? Crystal. Boom. Oh, this reminds me of the days back when I was just starting out arc. So used to just like playing MTS and you know you'd be able to craft crowd pods in your inventory and all that, but damn it's bring back the memories, I'll tell you that much. Alright, there we go, we got everything. How's our main wing looking? Fine. Alright, let's cryo it up. Sweet! Not bad at all. Oh wait, what? Oh my god. Oh, I need to, I need to head back to that drop. I like dropped everything. Okay, I, may, I, I don't think I was paying atten attention. Oh man, yeah, I, I need to head back to that drop. I literally dropped everything. Okay, you know what? Looks like I'm gonna be taming a Sonoma crops. I guess those items had time and I just didn't realize it. Oh, I should have double checked. Oh, I think it dropped the Maywing as well. Oh, that's actually so bad. That's actually so bad. Damn. <laughs> I forgot how these things worked. No. Oh, what's the closest spawn? It's the snow biome, but... Yeah, I, I, uh, 
I'd say this is probably the closest spawn. Oh my god. We are going to have to make the run of dreams, let me tell you. Because that is essentially all of our progress on that purple drop right there. Damn, the only thing I can really hope for is that that bag is on a... Is that that bag is on a 30 minute timer and not a 5 minute. If that's on a 5 minute then... That's a, yeah, that's pretty much all my progress. Lo like, I can't believe... Oh man... I'm just not used to having a that upload timer thing, and I guess I forgot how it works exactly. I forgot I actually had to let that timer run down, like that's how much time I have before I can actually like just upload myself. Like the time, that's actually how much time I'd have to wait before I can do that. I'm not sure, how would I get up to the snow mountains? That has to be a pathway. Yeah, this this looks like it. Hopefully this will lead me there. Alright, we're getting close. There's the snow mountain just there. Oh my god. Yeah, this is gonna really be the run of dreams, I'll tell you that. Oh my goodness. Holy. Run! Oh my raptors as well? I guess the sickness does help a little bit. Alright, now that we're in the snow biome, I recall the drop. I recall the drop being on the total opposite side of the biome itself. And I'm pretty sure the drop would have despawned by now. So I just gotta sort of have like a general idea. Okay, if I recall correctly, the drop was sort of on... Wait, was is that the purple drop? Man, you move so fast with the maiming, like, you don't even know, but... It was a day dawn. I feel- I don't know why, but I have a feeling like it was somewhere here. Just on this ledge, it was like on the lip. Of the snow. I'm gonna check here first. If it's not here, I'll head over to that other purple drop, because... It was indeed a purple drop where I transferred out. I remember seeing a day of dawn. I don't know why this area feels so familiar. Okay, I'm gonna head over to that purple drop then. Could very well be that one. Not too far away. Oh no, there's a wyvern going. Okay, no, the wyvern's not going to the purple drop though. Man, I really hope this is where my stuff is at. Nah, I, I swear it wasn't a purple drop with a ring. Yeah, I don't recall it being a purple drop with a ring. I mean, I'll go check what other options do I have. But otherwise, I guess I can just... Farm up, because it's quick to tame a Maywing and get my stuff back. And even though I know it's not this purple drop, I'm just so desperate at this point that... I'm going to check regardless. Desperate to find my loot? I wasn't paying attention to how late it was getting. And because of it, how cold. Ooh, okay. Uh, that's a simple... That's expensive. But I'll take it. Oh, it is very cold. Uh, I better get a base down. A little thatch, huh? Just to keep him from... Hopefully, not dying. Got the housing effect. Torch. My health is deteriorating, but very slowly. Campfire. But I need just some stone. Hopefully this will keep me alive. Can I make a bed? I probably need hide. I don't have any hide. No way. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, it works. Holy. What a mission though. Yeah, I'm definitely probably gonna have to head back somewhere. Just telling the things, yeah, I mean, light setback, but it's, it's okay. It's not too big of a deal. By the skin of my teeth, 
using a torch, campfire and the housing effect, I was able to counter the effects of hypothermia. Somehow this night, I ended up with far less than what I had the night before. But it was a minor setback, and as soon as the next sun rose, I was right back at it. No way, I spot a player. It's finally time to t- Whoop out the pistol on him. Okay, we got the kill. Oh, the aloe's running away. Alright, let's just look inside what he had. Oh yes, this was worth. This was actually worth. Oh my, he actually had so much stuff. A Maywing Saddle, no way! <laughs> oh man, we had we have two Maywing Saddles. That was actually worth. I was not expecting him to have this much. Let's get out of here. Even the Aloe was making way for us to loot his body. Hey. Let's go. Sonoma crops. Perfect. We got a Maywing. We got a Sonoma crops. Looking good. Even after that minor setback, we've pulled it together. Quite glad about that. Uh, things I'd like to take with me though. Pretty much those resources. I think that does make me a bit too heavy. Probably, I don't need as much fiber. Would like to keep a bit of hide. Poly is easy to farm. I'll drop the poly, I guess. With the Mamie and Sonoma crops tamed, that was my business on Lost Island complete. As far as the resources go, I was still short on a few. So the next map I paid a visit to was Genesis Part 2. Okay, I've made it over on Genesis. Now the plan is to first of all not die as soon as I spawn in. Probably not the best idea to spawn in the corrupted area side of things, okay, but we're looking good. I'm a little bit overweight, that's fine. Uh, I'm just staying my flag just for a little bit. I need to track the closest mission dispatcher because I need to upload a few things. Mainly my tames and my valuable resources. Yeah, I guess while I go over there I can inform you on the plan, so... Essentially, to bowl in the spot I would like to set up in, I do need a cliff platform. However, a cliff platform doesn't come cheap. It's pretty costly. What's the timer? Eight minutes, okay. Uh, so, so here's my thinking. I could go farm the resources right now for it, but I have all my teams on me. And I do not... I really don't want to risk them. So my thinking is to wait the 8 minutes, then I can upload the tames, and then I can farm freely. And because, so the cliff plat, so this is the cliff plat I want to make. Yes, it's stone cliff plat, 800 fungal wood, 1200 stone. I pretty much have everything for it. The only thing I'm really missing is the, what's it called? The stone and the fungal wood, which is easy to get on Genesis because of the tick suit. I can hold all the stone and all the fungal wood at once. Um, do I just bite the bullet? Nah, I think at times like this, you just gotta bite the bullet. I'm gonna go farm the resources. Oh man, I swear this costs. <laughs> I'm gonna kick myself. Ooh, drops. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. So now we need to also have discipline at the same time. As much, I know these drops help out a lot. Trust me, bro. I know. But what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna farm up the resources for the cliff platform. I'm gonna make the cliff platform. And then I'll probably farm the drops afterwards. Because these drops can just insanely boost your progress. So I think that's that, that should be my game plan. Probably get the cliff platform, upload everything that I don't want to risk. And then the things that I do want to risk or don't mind losing, I'll just keep on me whilst I farm the drops. I think I think that'll be a good game plan. With everything I had going for me, I better make sure I stay out of sight. I wonder, do you get more fungal wood using a hatchet? Wait, that's just a normal tree. Damn, wh what is making me so heavy? You know what, I'm dropping that maybe saddle, I don't need it. Okay, so, th so this, here's, here's, the, here's the test. Do you get more fungal wood? So do you get more... No, that's just normal wood, come on now. Where are the fungal wood trees? I swear these are the fungal woods. Okay, no, the game is telling me I'm wrong. I'm wrong about that one, Chief. 
Oh no, I think it's these pink ones. Yeah, it's definitely these pink ones. Okay, I don't want to get more fungal wood than I need. The platform, what's this? 800. Okay, not bad. Let's see, how much do I get? Okay, I get both fungal wood. 180, it's not bad. Not bad. I'm gonna make a wooden foundation because I will need something to place my smithy on. Okay, nice. We can, we can do this pretty quickly, I think. Oh damn, I already I think I have enough stone. No way. Damn, Genesis is honestly so crazy. But I think that's enough stone. Let me see. Oh my god, that's scary. Okay, let me just toss all the fungal wood. Oh, oh my that is so close. That should be enough and then stone. Cloth. Boom. Nice, we got it, we got it. What's left? I'll take the fiber. Hello? Oh, I got a popcorn. Game. Oh. Okay, nice. I had to demolish the smithy because it wouldn't allow me to pick it up because I already accessed it. Um... Let me see, what do I have on me? So I got my Thames. I got that. Uh, I'm gonna track the near. Actually, I, I don't even need to track the nearest mission terminal. I already know there's one like just over here. It might be risky to go here. This is a fairly popular one, but it's just over here. I'm pretty sure I got the cliff platform in under 8 minutes as well. Yeah, usually there are those plants around. I don't know if I actually want to do this one. It's super close to a metal spawn. Nah, you know what? I don't feel safe doing it at this one. I don't want to take any risks. I'm going to go over to the next one. Okay, that's choose your own adventure. Bulb dog fetch, where's that? Oh, damn. So, I, I think you can do like... I don't know. I think you might be able to do... Whatever. Most missions are just one. You don't need to go to a separate one for a different mission. Like it is on Genesis 1. Okay, that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, it's fine. Arc data. Okay, I don't have timer. Upload my Sonoma. Come on. Maywing. Oh, okay, I gotta wait 15 minutes for those. Okay. Um, I gotta wait 15 minutes for my cliff platform. But my teams, my the main teams. Let me let me look at my kit. I'm not you know what? Actually, let me upload a cryopod as well. I, I might as well upload as much as I can. Whilst I'm here. He's a player. Because I don't have my teams on me, I think I might just fight this guy. Okay. That was bad. That was very bad. I should have not. I forgot I don't have much health, so I can't even tank a hit. I need to rush back. See, if there's no way he can carry all my stuff. Oh man, I gotta rush back to get my cloth platform though. That was the only thing that oh man why did i choose to fight i am so ah i forgot i can't even tank a shot that's the other thing because i'm so low health oh man i really hope he doesn't take my cloth plat chances he does does not does take it as high though i'm just gonna have to rush over oh man i mean the main resources is just the pace really to get the cloth platform i'm not too fussed about that and my main teams are in upload, which is a good thing. It's just the paste is the only resource I have to worry about. Good job. Remember, we need to make this he's worst wipe possible. The boss will be pleased. Alright, my body's just over there. If the guy sticks around, I can fight him. No way he took my whole kit. No way he just took my whole kit and ran. Okay, he didn't take the whole kit, but I mean, he took the most important items, the paste, the paste and the cloth platform. Oh, it is what it is. I, I do have my metal ingots though. I can easily make another smithy. I just, I gotta figure a way to get the paste. That's like the main thing. I just need the paste and then I can get my cloth platform. That's the only item that I lost that I really care about, to be honest. Wait a minute, those are metal cloth platforms. Oh my god. 
Either my timing is off or the server is just very laggy with this. No, I think it's the server lag because they just got it again. Ah, uh, I. Th Wait, I think this guy definitely got this from a drop. I think I'm. It might. I might just be better off. I don't think I understand the full potential of these Genesis drops. I think I should start farming them, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of farming with the drops. Okay, first one, let's see what we get. I'm not sure that's I don't think that's good. Ah, uh, nothing in this one either. Ooh, 150 metal ingots. Out of the drops, I didn't get the cliff platform I was looking for, but I did get resources. Resources that I could save for later use. You've got to be kidding me, bro. It's honestly so dumb. I don't understand why I can't take off. Oh, man doesn't make any sense like sometimes i'll take off and it works other times it just doesn't i don't get it now some fat guy lum f level 73 looking ass comes and just kills me like it's taking candy from a baby today was a shit show at least if i got away with those resources i'd have something to show for it but that interaction was the nail in the coffin for me Sure, I made mistakes along the way, but what those eventually led to were even poorer decisions, leaving me without a place to call home. No place to rest my head for the night. <laughs> it's funny. It's almost as if someone out there was gunning for me. But that... that's silly to think. That was spectacular. The transfer glitch. The assassin. Keep it up. Tomorrow we introduce the hackers. You got it, boss. He won't stand a chance. You've got to be kidding me. The guy that took my cliff blood just decided, you know what, I'm gonna place it like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> How is it the first thing I wake up, the first thing I see is my cliff blood? Man. Nah, you know what, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let that get to me though. You know what, okay, it's fine. Trying to shove disrespect on my friend Doste first thing, first thing in the morning, but that's fine. I'll look at that, and you know what I'll say? It's okay. That's not gonna bother me. I'm just gonna keep on going. No matter how many times you get hit down, the important thing to remember is that you should always get back up. In my case, I needed a cliff platform, so I started by farming drops. I didn't get the platform, but I did get structures that gave me resources. Ooh. That's some nice resources that I will have to wait 15. Oh my god. I did not think this. Man, the time, like, why does official have to have these timers, man? Honestly. With the resources I now had and those that I farmed, I almost had enough to make a cliff platform. The only resource I needed left was paste, so I paid Valguero a visit to get it. I got the paste, but along the way, ran into some trouble. There is no way. Actually, I'm glad this is up. Yeah. I'm actually glad I died just there because now I can at least get my body. I was stuck in that rock, so that's actually a good thing. That is actually a good thing, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen. That is actually a good thing. Now, we're on the rise. We have great the. Yeah, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. We have great things ahead of us. See this year? Yeah, that's what you get, brother. That, that, that's our first move. We got the paste. We just took some guy clean out. He's just over there chilling. Are these pearls? No, okay. That's fine, though. We move. That guy didn't know what hit him. He doesn't know what level we're on. Even though we're naked running around with absolutely little to nothing to our name, that's besides the point. 
trust me, things are about to shape up for us. This is just the beginning. Okay, so let's see here. So this is the rock I landed. Oh, damn. Okay, yeah, here we go. I got my stuff. Nice, easy peasy. We got a beaver dam there. We have a beaver dam here. Probably be my best interest to go for this one first. And from this angle, I should be able to reach it. Damn. On official, you... you all the beaver dams. That is just disgusting. Not as much paste as I wanted, but more than enough for the cook platform. Oh my god, I need to get a new map. This is just ridiculous here. Yeah, now I have to, bro. Like, look at this. You've got to be kidding me. This has to be the most annoying thing ever. Holy. Okay. Jeez. Oh, okay, finally. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna demolish this box. Okay, there we go. Oh, damn. Are you sure this is the guy that's gonna stop us? Trust me, this is probably one of his tricks to make us think he's incompetent. I'm gonna stop rolling down the mountain. No. Okay, I think this is the last of it. I think we've gotten everything. Let's go. I'm, I'm gonna drop this bag so I can just pick up all of those things. Oh, I can pick up the smithy. Nice. Alright. Uh, What do I need to do now? Now, I need to go place this cliff platform down and set it up in my base spots. Are there any other resources I'd like to save? How do I fall down? On second thought, run me a DNA test just to make sure. There we go. Uh, are there any resources I like that? Definitely. Crystal, no, not really. Polymer, take the congealed gas balls. The metal, not really. Fiber, that I can get easy. I'm just gonna keep the tick jump pack because that's cool to have. I did not know I, I wouldn't even need a tick gram or anything. I guess, yeah, you, don't, you wouldn't really require one to use it. Mm, I'll take that, I'll take that. Uh, okay, cool. Now I just gotta grab my teams and wait for timer, transfer out, get the cloth platform down, you know, just get the basics. I know, it took way longer than it should have, but considering everything else that I had been through this wipe, it wasn't too bad. And now that I had it, I could find out whether or not my base location was taken or not. Oh damn, does it feel good to be back on this map. Holy, it's been a minute. Let's head over to the base location first, get that cuff platform. The important thing is just, you know what, placing the cuff platform. More than anything, that's the most important thing. We get that down, we can worry about the other things as they come. I just realized, wait, all this fiber I'm carrying, I don't need to carry it. Simply because I have a Maywing. I forgot these things are absolutely insane for farming fiber. They're good for berries, they're good- they're honestly such an amazing time. For a solo player, solo player's best friend. The only thing with a Maywing, it moves so slow. Ah, oh, when it's heavy, but it's just gotta get me up. Worst- worst of all. This, this this part right here, this part where I'm parkouring isn't even the hardest part. It gets even harder. We need to go even higher. I'm really excited to build this spot. I've never built here before. I haven't ever seen anyone build here before. So, pretty excited about it. Okay, so here's the next jump. This is, I yeah, this is the hardest jump right here. I gotta go from here over to that tree. Let me just regen my stamina. Let me grab the cliff platform as well, I'll have that on me. Okay, and then I do that, then I do that. Come on, come on. Okay, actually that went far smoother than I expected. 
And then all I gotta do now is go from here, don't die to wall border. Let me gamma up. I can't see anything. And that barely helps. It's fine though. And then I just gotta go over to here. Yeah, perfect. So this is the spot I want to bowl on. It's at wall border height. And I just gotta place a cliff platform. Down. Uh, maybe it will be easier off the back of a maybe. I know you can build here because I've I've tried this on official, like the official settings. Oh, do you know what I think? It, I might have to get my Sonoma crops. This is where the Sonoma crops comes in. I place it. I think it was my angle. Well, the main ring. Oh, nice. The main ring has some good grip. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, let me see. Where would I want this cliff platform? Ideally, I would like it fairly high up. Because we, we're, we're solo. We don't need that much space. And I also would like it. So, notice how there's like a little area at the back that people could probably sneak from. So, I'm thinking... Maybe something like this, and then I can have like turrets going out. Hmm. Because from here, they would be able to like shoot rockets, I guess, from this angle. They would be able to shoot rockets and splash damage my turrets. And if I give them enough space, they could even soak it, which we don't want at all. Wait, let me actually check something. I wonder. Okay, no, okay. I thought this was like a little space behind here. Okay, I thought I thought I could potentially set up the cliff platform there instead, but it turns out now it wouldn't be as good. I think what I'll do, I'll set the cliff platform a more away from it, so they won't really be able to do any cheesing type stuff. I think yeah, I think that should be the goal right there. I'll probably have the cliff platform set something like this. Just nothing crazy, but just so it works well. And then we can have turrets coming up and all that good stuff. How does that look? Not bad if you ask me. I think this is pretty sick. And then we can have turrets like coming off on either side. Yeah, this could be pretty pretty nice. I like this. And we'll just but we'll work on our base. We'll build it all from here. Get refining forges. So now, now we don't really have to worry about. I got all these resources. I can actually place the smithy though to store them away. Just for the time being, it's not gonna be. It's not gonna look anything fancy. This is official building, so I do kind of have to be careful where I place certain things because. If I ever want to pick them up, I only got 30 seconds to do so, but I'll just toss all that in there for now. So now I'm just probably going to focus on farming side of things. So I'll probably head over to Genesis, just get a bunch of resources for... I mean, I'm, I'm going to make a bed. Let me just get the things for a bed here so I can spawn in. But I'm probably just going to get a bunch of resources for refining forges, all that good stuff. That's going to be the goal. It was open. The base spot, that is. And by the calm quietude of the area, it looked like I may actually have a shot at building up my base. All I needed were the resources to put it together. What is that? Oh, I can't read That's such a... I was just farming and I got shot. Uh, what do I need for spyglass? Hide. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me just find some creature. Okay, nice. I can't reach. I need to go. Just, there we go. So heavy on resources. I need to get out with all of this. That's not good. Come on. Oh, okay. I'm gonna die here. Yeah. It's fine. I can just... I know where my body is. It's really close. 
I definitely want to check out that base. I'm pretty sure I can cheese it so hard as well. The one thing that's cool about being on official is there's no rules when it comes to uh, fortniting. So on MTS or just most servers in general, most unofficials, they they ban the the, the raiding method known as fortniting where you build into a base. But on this on this server, that's not really the case. I know I don't have much right now, but I should be able to craft C4 at least, which should be more than enough. So if I look at this, I think it is orders, otherwise I would have died. Yeah, I can literally just build up from the bottom. I can just build up all the way to the top. They are online as well, but I can literally just build up. That, that is such a good raid target. I might just hit back to base, you know, get some metal smelting, make some flak armor. Uh, get, you know, get the essentials going. We need to get the wood smelting, the charcoal to get the gunpowder. Considering the wipe I had, this raid target was exactly what I needed. And you may think, well, Sinza, with what dinos are you going to pull this off? None. You see, because this was official, certain rules did not apply. One of them being Fortniting, whereby you build your way up to a base, avoiding the line of sight of turrets, allowing you to raid the base without even soaking a single bullet. That was my plan. I just needed to prepare the gear for it. Alright, first successful trip back from Genesis. Got a good bunch of resources, so metal we're gonna be fine on for a good bit. Let me toss out the Mamie to run down my cryo timer. Okay, nice. I'm just gonna drop a bag. Let's see here. Yeah, those are all other resources. Oh, I forgot we even have a good bit of metal just in there alone. Alright, time to get the base set up. I guess I'll just stick the forges. I don't want it to get too much attention because they do burn quite a bit, but... Uh, it's only so, so much that you can hide. Damn, aberration is dark, let me tell ya. Okay, there we go. This is just gonna be temporary, so I'm just gonna place them like this for now. Damn, I should have a fair bit of forges. Okay, cool. It's not raided. No way, this place is not raided. Ooh, I might just raid this, but... Right now, I do want to keep my focus on that other base I found. I should have every resource, if I think about it, I should have every resource to make a fabricator. I do have polymer. I have some silica poles, that's in 100 electronics, so it's enough to make C4 as well. Arguably enough to get into that base. And then the structures I'll use to raid it is basically just uh, structures I can farm over on Genesis. I can just head over there, hit a few trees. Yeah, I think I'll pretty much sit. I'll probably make like two flax sets. Or well, one flax set extra because my weight is a bit atrocious. I do want to get the lesser antidote as well. I think the only thing I need for that is rhino horns or leech blood. But leech blood I could probably purchase on Genesis. Yeah, yeah, you, you can purchase on Genesis. And the rare flowers and rare mushrooms are easy to get. So I can even make myself a lesser antidote so I can get more. I don't know, I just don't like the sickness stats, like, yeah, it's just not the greatest. Alright, home sweet home. Man, I'm loving this base spot. I do need to get defenses up, which is absolutely important. Probably gonna get, like, turrets hanging over here. Have to, have to. It's a must. And probably turrets at the back, turrets high up, all that good stuff. Also got all the metal smelting, so we got a decent bit of metal going. Did make some spark powder, nice, so we should be able to make a fabricator now. Boom, the up, up comes the fabricator. Uh, I'm thinking of raiding that stone base. It was an easy hit. Unfortunately, by the time I arrived, someone else had beat me to it. Leaving my only option, the target on Genesis. No way this tribe is upgraded. Okay, they now have heavy turrets, that's gonna make this much harder. At first I was thinking I could hover beneath, beneath the turret, like all the way at the bottom. Maybe it's still possible, I don't know. 
I think the problem arises here. This is the ledge I can stand on. Just to get a better view. Yeah, I don't think it is, but I think I can just hover here. I'm not sure. Yeah, but I think those autos are just over, so those autos will shoot me. I can raid this, but it's just, if this guy's online, it's gonna be extremely hard. And he seems pretty active as well. That's the only thing. Like, I can definitely bolt up and then take the turrets out that way, but the problem... Hexagons are reoccurring shapes in organic okay. chemistry. It makes sense that the crew based their shipboard currency on the most precious resource in the universe. Earth life. Uh, the only problem is if I start building up to this, which I definitely can, the only problem arises is when this guy catches me. I mean, right now he hasn't been at his base for how long? I mean, I'm, I'm gonna re-render this because if I can get a window to raid this, it's gonna be so worth. But I don't wanna waste my time and this guy comes because then I'm gonna be in quite the predicament. Especially with those heavy turrets and I'm in a fit suit. Nah, that ain't, that ain't gonna work. Okay, I should pretty much, yeah, I'm definitely out of render. I'm gonna go back. Alright, let's see the timer. Okay, he's been away from his base for 5 minutes. Exactly 5 minutes. Hmm. I think I'm going to start farming the resources. I just need fiber. Well, not fiber actually, just a bunch of wood thatch. And I can actually make stone structures because we're on Genesis. It's easy to farm. I'll probably just go ahead and do that. Okay, if I look at this, I'd say I'm fairly underneath it. I might just go one wall back. We can always adjust. Can I wait? Can I go another one? No, I can't. Okay. Okay, we can still move. Just trying to hold as many structures as I can on me because to increase the speed instead of going back and forth. Oh man, if we can actually pull this off. Hopefully my man's went out for like a farming run or something. Or like taming something. And he's looking for a high level of something. Yeah, hopefully that's the case. No! Okay, that's not... Yeah, we just lost. Ah, yeah. That's unfortunate. I didn't even hear him come back. GG. I mean, how do, Oh my god, bro. Yeah, it's unlucky. I'm glad I at least tried though, and we took basically, you know, we saw the opportunity, we tried. That's that's the important thing right there. So I think for now, I'm just going to work, get some defenses on my own base because it's very naked at, at this point. Let's see if there's anything we can salvage. I mean, right now, I think he'll, he'll probably be trying to destroy our, our things, our structure. Nah, he went to depot. I'm gonna wait here because I feel like he might come back and I can just surprise kill him. No, what? How did he know I was there? There's no way. Nah, I think I think he might even be hacking. Oh man. Because I was there's no way he could have known. There's no way. I was hiding there after I respawned. He has to have like some cheats or something. Because I was hiding right behind the rock. There's no... And he immediately just came out and started shooting at me. Ah, oh, that's un that's unfortunate. But I'll I'll keep this base in mind. The, if I can catch his offline timer and his base hasn't improved, I definitely can raid this. But right now I need to focus on my own and just work on upgrading it. That's the main thing right now. Unless he had some kind of superhuman hearing, there was no way he could have known I was there. I mean, sure the first time he caught me in the act, but the second? Headed straight in my direction. I was a bit suspicious, but 
Like I said, I needed to focus on my own base. Unfortunately, it may very well have been too late for that. And that's not good. We have someone at our base. Oh man. They do not seem friendly. What was that bloodstalker? Hello, man. Hello. Yeah, so, um... Hello, man. I need... I need weapons. This guy... Gonna take Okay, nice. He actually left us alone. No way. Damn, the fact that he actually left us alone is pretty cool. He didn't bother us. But I definitely need to get turrets set up. And in order for me to get turrets, I need... I just need electronics, actually. Polymer is pretty easy to get. It's just electronics that I need to focus on. I'll probably head over to Crystal Isles to get that. Get some oil. The in general resources. I got lucky. It's not every day you run into a friendly Roma out in these parts. So without hesitation, I took the opportunity to grab the resources I needed on Crystal Isles to make the turrets I needed back here. Okay, I just got back. I think I can make a few turrets. Yeah, we can make two. What are we short? Electron- Whoa, seriously? Electronics? I would have not thought it would have been that. Uh, okay, but we can make two turrets. Uh, before I make more electronics, actually, let me make some cables. Unfortunately, I went on Genesis, but I lost... Whatever I got from the drops earlier, I basically lost because the server crashed and rolled back. I actually had to farm everything. <laughs> everything back again. But it's fine. We're out here. I should have oil. Yeah, let me grab this. Boom, we're gonna get some gasoline, get some turrets up. I think I also- did I make ARB as well? Oh, I even made ARB, no way. I'm doing stuff. Okay, perfect. Uh, I think I made- man, <laughs> this place is a bit of a mess, you'll have to excuse. Uh, let me see, stone foundations, okay. So, for the design for this, I think I'm just gonna go with the- What's it, your in-general chandelier, so I think, where's the middle? I would say the middle is this one right here. Yeah, middle's right here, so, I probably- how would, how would this look? Doesn't have to be perfect. I think this is going to look just fine. I just got to low. I want to lower the foundation so I have as much space as possible. We need to get turrets up. Oh, man. Despite the... Oh, wait. What stone pillar to have above ground? Uh, is there any way I can lower... I may have messed up here, boys. Oh, no way. I think it's just slightly too high above. Okay. Damn, so in official building, it seems you can't build too high either. Which is something I did not know. But we'll make it work. We'll make it work. We always do. Oh, what? Too high above... Oh, I gotta be careful, I guess. In certain spots, it says too high above ground. Other spots, not so much. I'm just gonna have it like this for now. I'm not gonna have it leaning too far off the edge. And because it's a meta arch frame, this will be like its permanent position. So we'll have one like this. Mm. And then I guess the cabling... Ooh. 
Ooh, we got some protection going. We're very exposed right now, but we have some protection going. That's the main part. Then I also want to make... I guess a middle foundy. But I think... Oh, then my next focus will probably be the chemistry bench. And for that, I'm going to need... Metal electronic spark powder is easy. Because we, we pretty much have the metal, we have the crystal. Polymer, I can I can get easily. That's not too big of a deal. Metal, we have smelting. Spark powder, we have. What else do we need for the chemistry bench? Hmm. I think what I might do is actually just focus on getting a bit more turrets, to be honest. I think I have one turret at the bottom, so I'll probably pull it down. We'll just find a spot that I, I don't think I can place a turret anyway, but I'll probably pull it down, have a turret at the bottom, something like that, just so people can't like C4 from the bottom. So that's definite. I think I'll, so I'll get two more turrets. Let me see electronics. That's how much we have. Uh, turrets. We should be able to afford with our, the amount of metal we get, we can make that. Alright, I just gotta get back to my main wing then, and start farming pollen I guess will be the resource I'm gonna have to look out for. Remember how I said I needed to go farm polymer while... While shooting at a... <sighs> while shooting away at a... Crab out of nowhere, I get too tapped by a spinal, so that's great. And I also forgot to place a bed down when I picked it up whilst building the base, so that's another thing. So essentially, I don't have anything. <laughs> I gotta find a drop, I gotta go to Lost Island and tame another Maywing. Oh man, okay, I mean, it's minus setback, but. Damn! This wipe has not been kind. This wipe, if anything, has been the most ruthless out of all the wipes I've played. I'll tell you that much. Oh no, do I get knocked out by that? Oh god. Okay, I got stems. Surely the stems save me here. Yeah. I know though, with persistence, we're gonna make it out. I just gotta keep my head up. That's all. Gotta stay strong. I know I can do this. I don't think I've ever had a harder wipe. This is a true test of my persistence, determination push through but I will believe you me I will I had been knocked down more times than I could count did it matter no because it's like I said no matter how many times you get knocked down you always get back up so I went to farming resources getting the tames I needed and heading right back to base regardless if I had to start from over so if I do something like that this is why we have the Sonoma crops, just amazing for building. Right here. Yeah, that's two, and I'll probably have another one going further down, but for now this will this will do justice. Yeah, for now this will be perfect. We at least have protection for the underneath portion. Let's get a turret going. Oh man, I, I don't know, I just love seeing progress, like the base progression side of... Arc is probably one of my favorite parts of the game, just seeing like a base come together and all that good stuff. Boom. I'll, I'll just have, okay, I'll put that on only survivors. We'll have one turret like that. Oh, I'd love to see it though, it's looking good. Gunpowder, let's get more bullets going. I'm trying to think, so... We have a turret there, we have a turret watching underneath, so we don't have to really worry about that. We got a turret watching this angle right here. I'm probably gonna aim just to get... What are we short on? 
Or to make more turrets, I think it's going to be straight up. Yeah, it's just going to be electric. Well, both metal and electronics, but that's fine because we got good with the metal smelting. So to make a turret, how many electronics am I short? Oh, not even that much. I think 38. 38 electronics will suffice. And then I probably just need a bit of metal and then I can make that one more extra turret. There we go. There. Now we should be able to make that turret. Which is just going to be huge. Make some more bullets. And I think I'm just going to have that turret up top. Yeah. I'll just have that turret just somewhere on the base. Maybe even on here, actually. Or at the back side. What blind spots? I just want to see what blind spots are there with this baseball. People could come with the Sonoma crops. Now, if people come with the Sonoma crops, they're getting shot for sure. They can Maywing dash, they can Stalker dash, but... This side, they get shot by that turret. Ooh, there's actually a little cool ledge here. We have... They run up. Try and find a blind spot here, they get shot by that turret. I just want, yeah, so I, I'll just add an extra tur turret just to have in general. I think that'll be ideal. And boom, we're making the bullets and we're making more turrets. Beautiful stuff. And I think I'm probably going to go to the gym. I just want to get this turret set up. Uh, place it over here. Boom, get some bullets in there. Get some bullets in there. Nice, okay. So I think, yeah, my next goal is probably going to be to organize the base. So I'll probably, I'm probably going to hit the gym. All these, all the metal we smelted. Like, look at all this metal we got, bro. We are sitting pretty on metal. It's just smelting. It's the only thing we got to wait for. Oh, we're actually a bit short of wood. I need to top these up. It's a good thing I actually checked. I'll probably so I'll have to top these up with some wood. But whilst I'm at the gym, it can smelt. And then my goal when I come back, I'm gonna start sorting out the base. So crafting station, start lining up some fabs, get a chemistry bench going, smithies, you know, make it look all neat, organized because that's a huge part when it really comes down to it. And then once I got all of that organized and looking good and sorted, I'll probably focus level 100. And just mainly work on base upgrades. I may even do some scouting for some raid targets. Sometimes I can maybe find some good ones to hit. And that will boost our progress as well. But for now. Oh. And of course. How can I forget? I am not going to forget this. Fiber wood. Let me get this sorted. Fiber wood. You see. Although I got hit down multiple times. Instead of taking the easy way out and giving up. I kept my head up. And kept on going. And in the end, actually had a place to call home. The real question was whether or not what I had done was enough for the imminent attack around the corner. We cannot allow him to get any stronger. Go. Now. I really hope you did go on to enjoy, and if you are on PlayStation and do want to play on my servers, then make sure to click on the link in the description below and check that interested bell icon so you don't miss out. Last but not least, I want to say a massive thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. To all my Patreon and YouTube members for going that extra mile. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> His head is made oh, out of something looks, else. This looks awful familiar. <laughs> 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 hey, shit. Yo, what's up with this guy? No, I need to check that guy's HP. Fucking hell. There's no way he's still living. Oh, damn. It, but, it takes a break. Coming out to 4 HP. Bastards. Ah, oh, there we go. He got that. Nice. The disrespect in my body as well. You should just have like a short bloopers section at the end of the video, just for, like. Ah, uh, some cinematics and funny moments and shit happening uh, throughout the video that you post. Yeah, no, you know what? I, yeah, I actually want to add that.